This is the most difficult of all the chip shots, the downhill lie. The key here is to establish the bottom of your arc. You've got to do that. In the practice swing, you've got to establish the bottom of the arc because it's, this is a very dangerous shot. You don't want to leave it in the bunker. And you don't want to scull it over the green. To establish the bottom of the arc, you have to position your body so that the bottom of the arc hits somewhere in the middle of your stance. The tendency is to lean back on this shot like this, and the bottom of the arc will hit behind you, back in this area, right in here. So you have to lean down the hill and brace yourself on the inside of your left foot. Again, get your body perpendicular to the slope this way. It's not perpendicular to gravity, which is right there. It's perpendicular to the slope. Also to do that, you widen your stance. I can lift my right foot completely off the ground here. I have so much weight on my left. Now, your shoulders also have to mirror the slope. Left shoulder low, right shoulder high. And to make sure you get the ball up in the air, you have to turn the club face open. You don't start with a face square like this. You open the face up about that much like this. Now, the last thing I think about on this thing is what Stan Thurst taught me when I was 11 years old. I have to make sure that I take the club up and away very vertically like this and swing down and across it like this. To do this you also have to swing pretty hard because you have an open face and again you're going up and across like this and the whole idea here is to get the ball just over the edge of this bunker right here. It doesn't matter whether it lands in the rough or lands it's somewhere on the green right there and pick a spot. Every shot I pick a spot where I want the ball to land. This spot's left of the hole because I know that this breaks a little bit left to right. So let's try this shot. Weight on the inside of the left foot, left shoulder down, right shoulder up, slightly open face. Practice the backswing up and across and let's see what happens. I take that shot every time from this lie. All right, here's a shot that people make a lot more difficult than it really is. This is the uphill chip shot. The critical thing here, like the downhill chip shot, is to position your body so the bottom of the arc is the proper place. Now, most people will kind of lean into the hill like this, and they'll stick the club into the hill like this, causing the ball to come up way short. What you must do is position your body to swing up the slope. You must, must make the swing go up the slope. So how do you do that? Well, you widen your stance, widen your stance, make sure that the right knee is really braced and kicked in like this. Your right shoulder gets low and your left shoulder gets high like this. You swing down the slope and then back up the slope like that. Now, you don't use a open face in this shot to use a square face on this shot. Now I'm using a sand wedge here, which actually makes this shot more difficult than if you change clubs and use a nine iron. But first, let me show you what normally happens to people who use a sand wedge from this shot. Well, comes up way short like that. Now let me show you the easier way to do this. I'm going to take a nine iron, which has a lot less loft to it, and I'm just going to do the same thing, but use just a little bit softer swing, lean into it, and look how little effort it takes to use a 9-iron rather than a sand wedge. Now if you use the sand wedge and had to hit it the proper distance, watch how hard you have to swing at it. Okay, up the hill. Now that's hard to judge, that shot right there. So do yourself a favor. Take the 9-iron, lean back, brace in here like this, swing up the slope like that, and do a little chip shot.